updated, 11.25 a.m. PT, Ketanji Brown Jackson debuted as President Joe Biden's nominee to the Supreme Court at a White House event that highlighted her personal biography and experience along with a nod to history. Jackson, 51, would be the first black woman to serve on the court. If I'm confirmed as the next Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, I can only hope that my life and career, my love of this country and the Constitution, and my commitment to upholding the rule of law and the the event was a major chance for Jackson to present herself to the public, as cable news networks covered it live and major broadcast networks did special reports. Biden praised Jackson as someone who strives to be fair, to get it right, to do justice. That is something all of us should remember. That is something I have thought about throughout this process. Biden noted her experience on the U.S. Sentencing Commission, making her unique among nominees, but also highlighted that she had a brother and two uncles serving as police officers. The president mentioned that the Fraternal Order of Police, at times in disagreement with Jackson on issues of criminal justice reform, issued a statement saying that there is little doubt that she has the temperament, intellect, legal experience, and family background to have earned this appointment. That emphasis on her background seemed to be aimed at potential Republican opposition to her nomination, particularly as Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell signaled that they would tie her to far-left groups. In her speech, Jackson talked extensively about her family, including her father, who made the decision to go to law school after working as a public high school teacher. Some of my earliest memories are of him sitting at the kitchen table, reading his law books. I watched him study and he became my first professional role model. She also talked another uncle who got caught up in the drug trade and received a life sentence. That is true. But law enforcement also runs in my family, mentioning that one of her uncles became the police chief of Miami. Previously, President Joe Biden plans to nominate Ketanji Brown Jackson, a judge on the U Court of Appeals in the District of Columbia, to fill the Supreme Court seat following the retirement of Stephen Breyer. If confirmed, Jackson, 51, would be the first black woman to serve on the court, fulfilling a pledge that Biden made during his presidential campaign. She has been a leading contender to be elevated to the high court. Last year, three Senate Republicans joining with Democrats to confirm her to the influential D.C. Circuit, 